Okay, in this uh, Tesla timeout, I've got a few products from Tesloid Canada in Toronto. You've seen earlier episodes where I put some products in there that I actually purchased. These are products that I got for, uh, for promotion from these guys for free. So I encourage you to go check them out if you like these products. Uh, I may have a um, code, discount code, if I do check the show notes just to see if it's there because I'll see if I can get you something off. Let me show you what they are. So I have three products here. I have a trunk organizer pocket nets, a set of two. Those are those ones, and I'll show you how they go on and what they do. I have a Model 3 um, storage extender for the trunk, which is that component there. And I have Tesla seat gap inserts or fillers for the model, fillers for the Model 3, which are those, a set of two, plain black. I'll show you what they look like. And the Model 3, as most cars, there's a bit of a gap here between the seat and the center console. And what these are designed to do is to go in and fill that gap nice and tight so that you don't drop coins and stuff. I've already dropped my sunglasses down there once. Uh, so I can see how it comes in handy. So uh, they just pop, pop in. They have a slot for the seatbelt and they pop in. So let me put one in. I'll show you what it looks like. All right. So I installed it in. Just you can muck around with it to uh, get it to the position that you want. But that basically it just kind of fills that gap there so that you can drop stuff and it blends in with the seat fabric. They look pretty good. Okay. The next item is this trunk um, compartment extender, basically. So it just kind of goes here. And it makes that cubby hold a little bigger so it can hold taller objects, maybe mid-size umbrellas or um, air pumps or anything like that. And it's got the Model 3 logo. Just Velcro's on, so let me put it on and see. All right, so it just goes on like that, lays flat and Velcro's on to the sides there, pretty straightforward. And again, just adds more uh, height and depth. It's on there pretty good. Adds, adds more height and de depth for some of the bigger stuff like that. It looks pretty cool. Okay, these next couple of items are on the theme of Velcro as well. They're just kind of nets, little cargo nets that have Velcro on them. And you can put them anywhere you want. On the sides, uh, on uh, the ground if you want, if you want to hold something like that. Uh, I'm going to put one probably in the underneath compartment. And then the other one along the side and see how it looks. All right, so this big one actually is, is for the bottom boot, uh, the bottom part of it, and it just kind of pushes on. And what it's nice is it's got this middle divider part here. So you can put stuff in there and it's all Vel Velcro. So it can come off, you can loosen it a bit, tighten it a bit, whatever you'd like to do. And uh, it looks pretty good. Easy to throw stuff in, which is what I want to do. Maybe some small stuff like that and uh, go from there. And here's a small one with the perfect spot on this side, or you could do it over the wheel well, whatever you want. But it's got a, again, it's got an opening on one side. It's just a thinner pocket. If you want to put some maps or maybe a small umbrella, something like that, it's good for doing that. A couple of things I just got from Tesloid Canada, Tesloid Toronto here. One of them was their Model 3 wireless charger, the second generation one. And the other one was their Model 3 dash mat, something I've been waiting for. Helps with, anti, with being anti-reflective and keeping it clean. Um, and it... Uh, it doesn't slide. It has a um, kind of a bit of a sticky ba backing there. So I'm going to put those on and show you what I uh, what I mean by them. And I'll tell you why I got the wireless charging mat. Okay, so for the mat, um, I just unrolled it. So it's going to take a few days to kind of flatten out and get the bumps out. And that's just normal with anything that's shipped that's kind of a cloth material. Uh, but it has a nice fit and I'll keep an eye on it and I'll report back if it doesn't uh, seem to flatten out. But it looks pretty good. It's a nice color, uh, clean, and uh, we'll see how it goes in a few days. Now, for the charging mat, the reason I got another one, and they sent it to me, this is all on promo, so I thank you for that, is this. Um, basically, as you know, the new Model 3s, uh, I guess sometime after the summer, come with wireless charging, and this does too. But it only has one cable, one connector. So it means that only one side of it, which is the left side, is that it actually charges. And it's pretty finicky. I put my iPhone, whatever, 11X uh, Max or whatever it is, the big one, and I have to move it around to get uh, to the right spot to get it to charge. It has to be really close to the middle and, you know, in this spot here. And sometimes, you know, it just moves around just slightly or, or goes off canter. So apparently the Tesloid one is better. It will cover more of the area and it has both sides charging. So I'm going to put it on and show you what it looks like. So as far as installing it, this is the uh, the new one. It's, you can see it's got two cables and you just run them down through the middle there like normal two USB cables and it goes to there. Now, this has two USB-A cables, as you can see. So I have the new Model 3 that did the change. 
as a USB-C and then a USB-A, I guess, right? As you can see there. How do I get around that? Well, I just happen to have a converter that'll take it from C to A. So I'm gonna put that on there. Okay, I've got it in. So um, I did test it with my phone and it does work, but I have to take my case off. I've got a fairly thick clear plastic case, one of the um, spec ones, I think it is. Um, so, uh, and I have a big, big iPhone, the largest one that's out there. So it doesn't quite make enough contact to charge it with that. But if I take it out of the case, it works fine on both sides. So see, there's these little power indicators, a left and a right arrow. They light up orange or red when you've got it charged. And I tried both sides and both work. So again, okay, here's the one that comes with the Model 3. These are the new wireless ones. As you can see, it only has one fixed cable. It's uh, cemented in there or glued in there. I don't think I can remove it without maybe damaging it. I don't know, I didn't really try. But it's only got the one port. I'm not gonna open it up and rip it. And I know guys have opened this up and modified it. I'm just not going to bother with it because I got the other one in. So thank you very much again. All right, and uh, another thing that I just received from Tesloid Canada, so I'm just adding it to this episode late, was this spoiler. I was interested in talking to them about this matte black spoiler, and they just sent it to me, which was really awesome. I was actually going to buy it. I was asking for a discount, but they threw it in the mail and popped it in. So I'm showing you what it looks like. So I just put it on. It has a bit of a process where it's um, you have double-sided tape, the 3M tape, and you actually have to put it on the spoiler first. So I put two strips, actually there's enough to do uh, two strips, one right across from point to point, and the other one about three quarters, a little bit more than three quarters, uh, probably seven eighths across, uh, so it has a little bit more reinforcement. Then I, I, I already aligned it. I marked it with green painter's tape, the center, so that, uh, uh, and then I slit the tape over the T there and the Tesla logo, lined it up, and then uh, just started on one end, peeling both of them and just press down slowly as I went, lift it up a little bit so I could peel and then press down and so forth. It takes a little bit of a knack. You don't wanna press it all too fast because you need to be able to peel that tape and that second one that I added is inside so it's a little harder to get to. But hopefully this will hold. I just put a whole whack of painter's tape as you can see on here um, to uh, let it sit. Uh, it's a nice day, it's a little cool but the sun's out and it's supposed to get up to about Oh, probably about 19 or 20 degrees Celsius today. So I'm gonna leave it outside in the sun all day, let it get nice and warm so that it will um, it will relax the glue, relax the adhesive in here and be able to uh, bond properly. So I'm gonna leave it for 24 hours is what they say to leave it on for. Or they say don't get it wet for 24 hours. Um, it's not supposed to rain till tomorrow. So that's why I'm doing it today. The rest of the weekend is supposed to rain. So hopefully it looks good and I'll show you when it looks like uh, when I have all the tape off. Okay, and just here's the spoiler with the tape on. As you can see, they call it the performance spoiler. So it's similar to, I believe, what Tesla sells. It's just a plastic, ABS plastic one. I got the matte, I didn't want the glossy carbon fiber finish because I don't have a lot of glossy uh, on the vehicle. So I kind of wanted to keep everything flat. Um, just plain black is good enough for me. And there you go. It's certainly not the most expensive spoiler, <laughs> I can tell you that much. Um, but it hopefully will do the job and it will look pretty nice moving forward. All right, so you can see the final product for the uh, spoiler. I just kind of gave it a quick cleaning. Uh, I left it on for about 24 hours. It's been garage most of the time, and yesterday was a decent day. Today's a little cooler, but still uh, not that bad, so it should have set properly. It seems nice and sturdy on there. Uh, it's not moving, there's no give or play, so hopefully it won't fall off on me. Uh, but anyway, I like the looks of it, it looks good. And uh, anyway, thanks Tesla Canada again. And one other thing I wanted to mention here is Tesloid sent me, uh, when they sent me the spoiler, um, actually, they uh, they sent me, um, which will be on another episode, they sent me these um, decals or these uh, 3M uh, stickers for for the the um, console covers. Now, as you know, I had already put a, uh, a plastic PVC one, a, a matte black, a matte uh, color, which uh, works really well. But I thought, well, you know, they sent me a wood, a matte black, and a uh, carbon fiber look uh, uh, stickers for this. And I thought I'd put the wood one on because I really do like the wood dash setup. To me, it looks really nice. And I thought I'd put these on. Uh, I can peel them off really easy. They're they're easy to remove if I want to. So I figured, well, I'll just put them on over top of, uh, of what I have here. Uh, so they really actually fit pretty nice. Um, I did them fairly quickly, so they might not be 100% aligned um, to what some people that might want that aligned, but I think they look pretty good. And again, I just like the wood. It's a calming effect and uh, it helps a lot.
on a screen through New York City. Like in my dreams with New York pretty. I wanna fly alone in New York City. Run scheming light in New York's pretty. Awaken it is falling, dread it hard. Be sure to stay and stay at home. Bright stone down that hard and night.